Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to show how to find the inverse of an end cycle. So, I'm actually going to change the notation because we have in these other videos uh, a slightly different notation which is going to make this easier to parse. So, I'm just going to shift all the indices down by 1. So I have a0 through an minus 1. And let's give a name to this. Let's call this sigma. And we saw in a previous video that if you applied sigma to any of these terms, it's just going to increase the index by 1 with the one little caveat that when you get to n minus 1, you have to go back to 0. So we use this notation ai box plus 1. And that box plus, remember, was just saying reduce modulo n. So if you had, were at n minus 1, you'd go back to 0. So this map sigma is a permutation, so it's a bijection, and we want to know how to invert it. Well, all sigma does is add 1 to the index, modulo n, and so inverting it means you need to undo that. You would just want to subtract 1. So the inverse of sigma should be the map that takes a sub i and reduces it to i, well, here's what we'll do, we'll call it box minus 1. So again, we'll do i minus 1 and reduce modulo n. All right. So most of the time that doesn't mean anything, but in the special case where you started with a sub 0, then you should get a sub 0 box minus 1. And well, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. But what we really want is for that to be the same as n minus 1, which it is modulo n. Right. So our inverse should just be the cycle that we can get by reducing everything by 1. So let's write that in cycle notation. If we start with a sub n minus 1, reduce by 1. OK, a n minus 1 goes to a n minus 2 which would go to a n minus 3, etc. would go to a3, a2, a1. Okay. Now, we very frequently, whoops, we actually want a0, don't we? Right. So we can have our a0. Uh, we very frequently want to start with the same number when we write down our inverse. So we can rewrite this cycle if we like starting with the a sub 0. And now let's just see where it goes. a sub 0, well, goes all the way to a n minus 1. And now we just proceed as before, a n minus 2, etc. a3, a2, a1. Right. So a way you can remember how to write down the inverse of a cycle, copy the first entry, the a sub 0, and then go to the end and write it in backwards order. So we go to the end, a n minus 1, and go down all the way till we get